guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I will teach you how to sew dark manipulation. So you must have the sewing and drafting tools so you can perform a dark manipulation. Watch and listen carefully. For a standard waist dart manipulation, you don't have to make another dart, just as it is. So just pin the traced pattern into the fabric, then cut it. Always remember that you don't have to cut the dart intake into the fabric. Take note that every time you cut at the bottom of the dart, you have to make at least a triangle shape. Mark the dart intake using ruler and pencil. After you mark the dart intake, you can remove the pins and the trace pattern. Then, it would look like this. At this part, we will pin the dart intake. But remember that you have to check the lines if they are collided. Then, sew the dart intake following the lines in the dart. At the bottom of the dart, you have to make a lock stitch, but in the point of the dart, you don't have to make a lock stitch. You have to use your hand to lock the dart, so it won't be bulky. Just do the same thing as what we did a while ago. Just always remember that you don't have to make a lock stitch at the point of the dart, so it won't be bulky. After you sew the standard waist dart position, it looks like this. In French dart position, you have to measure at least 2 to 3 inches above the waist and make a straight line and leave at least 1 8 inch. And then, collide and tape the original dart. You may also use scotch tape or masking tape depends on you. Pin your pattern into your fabric and cut it and always remember that you have to make a triangle shape in every dart. After this cutting procedure, you have to mark the dart intake, so that's the French dart. Pin the dart intake, then sew it following the lines in the dart. After this procedure, the French dart position will look like this. In armhole dart position, you have to locate the center of your armhole, then mark and make a straight line and cut, then manipulate the dart. Tape this, pin the pattern into the fabric, then cut it, make a triangle shape in every the part of your dart. And then mark the dart intake using ruler. So that's the dart intake of the armhole dart position. Now, pin the dart intake and then sew the dart intake following the lines in your dart. The armhole dart position will look like this. In mid-shoulder dart position, you have to locate the center of your shoulder, make a straight line and cut it, and then make the dart manipulation. Pin your pattern into the fabric and cut it. And then mark the dart intake using ruler and your pencil. Pin the dart intake in your shoulder and sew the dart intake following the lines. Make a lock stitch in point of your dart so it won't be bulky. Each shoulder dart position will look like this. In center front bust dart position, you have to make a line along the dart and make the dart manipulation tape the original dart then put into the fabric, pin it, and 
you have to measure at least one fourth for the seam allowance. In some cases, this dart produces a gutters. Now, mark the dart intake using your ruler and your pencil. First, you have to attach the center front and sew the one fourth seam allowance. Now, pin the dart intake. But as I told you, in this dart, there are some cases that it may be half of gathers, so that's normal. Sew your dart properly, so don't make a lock stitch in your machine. As I told you, lock the thread using your hand, and then it will look like this. In center front neck dart position, you have to locate the center of your neckline and make a straight line along it and down up to the original dart. So pin your pattern into the fabric and cut the excess fabric. Now mark your dart intake using your ruler and your pencil. Pin the dart intake. So it looks like that and then sew the dart intake following the lines in your dart. So that's how it is. Just sew the same thing as what we did a while ago. Lock the thread using your hand. Now you have to trim the excess fabric in the dart. So it looks like this. In straight side seam dark position, you have to make a straight line along the side of your pattern, tape the original dart, and then put into your fabric, then pin it. So after that, you have to cut the fabric, make at least a triangle shape at the part of your dart. Now mark the dart intake using a ruler and pencil, but also you can use a tailor's chop. Pin the dart intake and after you have pinned that, sew the dart intake following the lines in your dart. Your dart will look like this. In shoulder tip dart position, you have to measure a 1 fourth inch downward in your armhole. So tape the original dart, pin the pattern into your fabric, then cut the fabric. Mark the dart intake using ruler and pencil. Pin the dark intake, then sew this part, following the lines in your dart. Lock the thread using your hand. You can lock the thread at least three times. And then it will look like this. In mid-neck dark position, you have to locate the middle of your neckline. Then make a straight line down up to the original dart. Tape the original dart and put your pattern into the fabric. Pin your pattern into the fabric and cut the fabric. Mark the dark intake. Pin the dart intake, then sew the dart intake following the lines in your dart. Lock the thread using your hand, 
just sew as the same thing. So it will look like this. Center front waist dart position, you have to make a straight line and to the middle of the waist from the bottom. Pin your pattern into the fabric and then cut the fabric using your shears. Mark the dart intake using your ruler and your pencil. So after that, you have to pin the dart intake and then sew the dart intake following the lines in the dart. Always lock the thread at the point of your dart so your dart won't be bulky. And then it will look like this. Thank you so much for watching!